Hello guys, this is Anna Shuji with another tutorial and this is on how I made this scene. Um, so I'm gonna be using this in my next animation and yeah, so I'm gonna show you how I did it. Mm. So first of all, I searched up some picture frames and I was looking for something that I would need. Uh, so what it's, what suited the, well, uh, whatever. So anyway, I found this one, so I'm gonna load it into Photoshop. And then what you have to do is select um, everything except for the black or the part which you want so just select the white bits for my photo so I have the magic wand selected at 20 tolerance and just select this the link will be in the description for this um, so I selected everything except the black if you want you can select the black and then go to select inverse and that'll be just the same thing except you, yeah, you select it a different way. So now let's um, let's out uh, let's export it. So make make a work path uh, and then okay, 0 0.5 pixels file. Make sure you have it selected. File export path to Illustrator and okay and yeah, save it on the desktop, which I've already done and make a new and then just grab that in and I have it at 10 depending on the size of your picture and so now we have it here really cool um, so let's clean up a little uh, so that I don't need that let's get the rectangle select and off that and just off the uh, select only visible thing Let's off this so we can move it along axis. Axi? <laughs> oh, whatever. Uh, so now just let's just position it to where it looks like the middle. Then let's. Oh, sorry. Oops. Microphone. Okay, so now just position Let's position it at zero. Oop. But some of these parts here, they, they, you don't need them, so just find the ones you don't need and just delete them. So I have only one in this picture. And if you like, you can can um, select plus delete them. Uh, I'm not sure if you can do all of them, but uh, whatever. I have to mess around with it. Okay, select all the edges, position at zero as well. So that will put it at the center of the axis. Uh, 135 degrees. Let's move it up. Let's get it a little. And, oh. Okay, so now we have it here. Oh, I need to make the rotation better. Okay, so now we need to extrude it. If you render it right now, it's not there. So let's. Get the extrude nubs, grab in the path into the extrude nubs, and it's already extruded. So now we have to just mess with the settings. What I had it at was at 100, like that, and then caps to fillet cap 7 and 5, convex to concave. I don't know, it's not much of a difference. That and quad triangle, triangle. And that's about it. So, yeah. That's how it is. Uh, uh, I'm not sure, but it looks kind of better like this. Yeah, it looks better like this. So, now let's make the text. So, more graph. Text, more text. Yeah, okay. Position it and let's get a camera. Position it at zero 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 and put it on the Y and the Z axis and oh, just let's go to object and change this to five the pers object perspective or whatever you call it and let's actually change this to one thousand and yeah okay like so. It. Oh. And move it up. Oh. Up. Back. 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 Back.
Perfect. Okay. Uh, so now let's just position this. Oh, good object. Make it middle. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, so you can always mess around with extrude knobs. You can also uh, select path and scale it like so. Um, and you can put some textures. Let's just put a wood texture on it. Let's get a wooden plank, just like last time. And just put it on to the extreme arms and select it and make it cubic. I like to have it set around. Oh. And oh. Uh, oh. So maybe a little too much. Yeah, one and one is good. Uh, then uh, let's just rotate it a little. I don't know why you need to rotate, it, but it looks bad. And yeah, that's 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 about it. So thanks for watching. Um, and.